Okay, this is a flower shop, and the it's the condenser on the roof, heat craft condenser. It's in, it's pretty good. R22 in the system. No, it's 404 in the system. And it was low on gas. And I put some gas in it last night, and I found the leak on it. And here's this is the pressure control here. It's connected, and I don't I don't particularly like the way this is run like that because of the vibration they tend to crack but found that if you can see there's oil the leak detector picked up uh, some gas see this oil here's it and the fuzz it's a telltale sign that you can see it's a little oily all around here and my leak detector. Oh. See what what this is is the leak is this bellows has a crack in it. It's, it's constantly flexing on and off all the time, and in and out. And uh, the bellows developed a little crack. And we're get it got a leak right inside there. But that's where we're gonna be changing is the pressure control. First what I have to do is, is I have to check the settings on this pressure control first, see where it cuts in on and cuts out at. So we're gonna do that with the min and max function on the uh, control on, on the gauge set. I want to do is I want to now this is the receiver tank and this is the service valve on the receiver tank and I was taught that this is the king valve a lot of people call all any valve with a valve stem on it a king valve but from when I when I was taught this is this is the king valve okay let's see what our pressures are Hopefully we can see them. Um, sometimes it's hard to see the uh, sight glass. When I use my mirror, I got another crack in it. And I have time for a new mirror. a little bit of gas still but from the looks of it we got a lot of condensation on the suction line coming back it looks like the valve is open a little bit too much I have to adjust the expansion valve okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pump the system down by closing the king valve off all the way in Okay, let's pump this down. Okay, I close the liquid line off going downstairs through the evaporator coil and coming back. Now the compressor is going to pull all the gas from, from the evaporator coil through it, through the condenser, and it gets stored in the tank. So right now the liquid refrigerant is filling up in this receiver tank. One big plus refrigeration systems has is they, over air conditioning systems, is a receiver tank. So we're pumping down and we just shut off. Okay, now we're going to watch the minimum is shut off at 